This past Sunday, my coffee pot taught me quite a lesson, a lesson about cognitive load. This is such an important concept when it comes to simplifying concepts for non-expert audiences. So Sunday morning, I had a lot on my mind. I was thinking about some deliverables that were due on Monday. I also had some big meetings coming up and there was a road trip in there. So I had to think about packing and the dog was actually coming with us on part of the road trip and we we're gonna drop her off at the kennel. So I had to think about getting her gear together. So with all of this on my mind, I came out to make coffee for my husband. Now. Our coffee maker is not very complicated. All you need to do is basically put the pot underneath here. I'm sure yours is very similar. You put water in the container in the side, you put the coffee in the top. But the key element is the coffee pot. My mind was so preoccupied with other matters that believe it or not, I forgot to put the pot in. I put the water in, I put the coffee in, but not the pot. So my husband <laughs> called me out of my office about 10 minutes after I had thought I'd put the coffee on and of course there was coffee flooding everywhere. This was an important lesson to me in what happens when we just have too much on our minds. A lot of times when I work with folks who have advanced degrees and they're dealing with very complex information and data, they will sometimes resist when I suggest that they simplify their language. And they'll say to me something like this, well, my audience is very smart. I'm writing for the CEO and she has an MBA. Or I am writing for a group that will include some engineers and accountants and they're really smart people. So I don't think I need to bring my vocabulary level down to a grade eight. Well, that's all well and good. I also have a pretty advanced vocabulary and I have pretty good ability to follow instructions, but on Sunday morning I had cognitive overload and I couldn't make coffee properly. So when you are thinking about that CEO or a potential investor sitting down to look at your pitch deck or your one pager or a white paper, think of all the other things they have on their minds that day which may include dropping the dog off at the kennel, right? They're not focused 100% on that amazing technical information that you have put in front of them. So make it really easy. Take some of the cognitive load away by simplifying your sentence structure, shortening your sentences, using everyday words and making your writing as visual as you can by using things like tables and bulleted lists and headings. Those are some of my suggestions from somebody with a very recent experience in cognitive overload.